I was pretty sure until uh, a few months ago that uh, in Italy we were the experts of the political chaos and of the political confusions until the moment when England arise as a star in this uh, phenomena. Uh, actually, it was quite shocking, even the brother of the Prime Minister left him and changed parties uh, uh, a few, I think he's few giving, minutes ago. giving up as an MP, I think, as well. I mean, he's just well. had, had yeah. enough of it. Well, yeah. uh, it's, it's fantastic. So, uh, who knows? Uh, as, a, as, a, as a truly European uh, citizen, and a uh, person, uh, you know, I, I'm doing my outing now in love of the European dreams as the father founders of Europe designed it. Um, I feel frustrated about this situation and I don't think it's a good idea for anyone in Europe. But as much as even for the a British problem, this is also a failure it of is. Europe. It is. One of the strongest economies, one of the most capitalist-minded economies, a great ally in many ways of what Frau Merkel has been trying to do in Germany, uh, ha has left Europe, is leaving Europe potentially. Uh, and that's got to leave everyone worse off, hasn't it? I agree with you. I agree with you. And uh, England is counting a significant percentage of all the European strengths in terms of GDP, in terms of added value, in terms of service industry, banking industries. Uh, so how has Europe let that happen? That is a failure of Europe. As, as Ivan Rogers wrote in a very recent piece, and Ivan Rogers is dismayed at what's happened domestically, he, he, he wrote, this is a failure of two to tango. It takes two people to dance, and it is a European failure. Why did they not give Cameron a better deal? Why didn't they give May a better deal? Why didn't they see what could potentially happen? Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.